Right then. Starting an outro. An, an intro, sorry. Outside. Outside the front and then, Dad, which for some reason, I've somehow got you a ticket in for today. So you will be watching the whole game from the front and end. So How mate, are you feeling ahead of the first home league game of the season? Well, after last week, mate, I'm I'm buzzing, mate. I think, well, second half especially, I think we this season we could be in for a bit of a a bit of a good ride, I think. Um, good signings, obviously. Play to get the more they play together, the better they'll be. But I've certainly a lot of positives from the second half last week. Um, atmosphere was electric last week. Hopefully that we get the Fratton Park rocking today. No and, Westwood today as well. Yeah, and get the three points. But, yeah. um, Thoughts? Because oh. this only happened last night, I get one quick word to sum up the Tom Lowry signing. Well, you've just shown me a couple of videos. I mean, he looks pretty tasty, to be fair. And, um, could be another good addition. Um, probably With Owen, Owen Dale will be joining the next couple of days on loan yeah, as well. That could be another good one, but yeah. Um, Do you think, well, arguably, we have the best midfield options in the league? Well, that... Pack, Morell, Thompson, um, Lowry, Mingy, Stuart White. And we've still got players injured as well, so yeah. Yeah. I'd say probably one of the best midfields in the league. Bishop and um, Piggott up front with... Uh, I keep forgetting names of everyone at the minute. I don't know why I keep doing it. But we've got all these players that we brought in who have given us what we didn't no, have last season. We've still got Jacobs, we've still got Curtis. Yeah, but so. the, the players we brought in have given us what we didn't have last season and it's one big, big word in football and it's depth. Mm. And I think now we've got that, it's going to be a good season. Uh, but finally, it's been a long intro today, actually. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And before we go to Weatherspoons, what's your prediction, Dad? I think we're going to win 3 0 today. Be positive. And I'm going to be positive as well. And I'm going to say 3 1. Josh Cribbins can go against his former club, but I'm going to say 3 1. They will get a goal, I reckon. But I don't know who will score it. I don't really know much, too much about them, or I have done my research. But Tom Hopper's normally their, their main man up front, but they've had a bit of a change since Appleton left, haven't they? So, mm. anyway, time to get the spoons. At the Blues. At the Blues.
down because he's bald. Free kick dog. Come on. Golden chance missed there. Rico missing. Good block at first, and he's smashed it over. I don't know what's going on. Dad's back on his feet. Utter oh, shit. Well, not really, but okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? Half time. Abdul, first of all, thoughts? Playing well. Couldn't do a little bit better. But with the end result, it's got to be a win. Definitely. Absolutely. Completely agree with you. Me. Yeah. Nice to see you back. Yeah, and it's only one game in. We've got the whole season ahead of us. 44 You've, games. 44 out, glorious games of football with ups and downs. We're going to love every frigging minute of it. Absolutely. You know it. That Bill's talking absolute waffle. <laughs> but he loves it. We're awful first half. <laughs> Mr. Negative's so, back again. A bit, a, a bit like I've got to balance him out somehow, haven't I? A bit like Sheffield Wednesday last week, first half, drab. I think he's better than Sheffield Wednesday's first half, though. you've it, got to admit that. Yeah. Totally disagree. It's not that bad. Side to side. But we've been the better team, we just haven't had the clear cut chance. Ha Hackett Fairchild needs to come off, get Curtis right. on. And I really think you should get rid of your old man and just do that. So do I. Then we should bin, bin you off. Yeah, but, but either way, are you going to make it through 90 minutes yeah, continuously because you're already turning negative? Uh, but yeah, we need to like, One game in, I can't accept that. I'm sorry. We'll One change. game in, there's nowhere we'll, we'll, we'll go 3-4 now up second half and I've got yeah, 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 brilliant yeah, yeah, yeah. all game. That's we'll get, it. We'll we don't accept what he's saying at the moment. We'll get Ten on. games in, we'll have a chat. But exactly at the moment, that. he's got to love what we're doing. You alright? Anyway, Abdul, hey, thanks well. for coming on the channel again. <laughs> Thanks for coming on again, Abdul. See you soon. Dad, second half time. Yep. Yeah, At the Blues. Hopefully second half, 3 or 4 nil. The second half is underway. I missed the first tiny bit. But he's offside. But let's have it.
Tomlin. Tomlin. Look at Morrison. Who knows? Hello.
Right, I know the scoreboard says 0-0, but I think it might be 4-1 to Lincoln. I'm not quite sure. They have just erupted. Either way, not the best day for Pompey today. Not hard day. Not a great performance, not helped by the ref. Either way. Right then, full time. Uh, I don't think we were appalling, but it wasn't great. I totally disagree. I just think it's just playmaking. We miss out on some key passes, and there's nothing really in attack today. They were just, but Lincoln are always going to be harder than Sheffield Wednesday in ways, because Sheffield Wednesday attack us a bit more open to break down. Lincoln are a unit. They come here probably happy with a point, so they're not going to risk anything and be, it'd be harder to, to break them down overall. Thoughts? Honestly? No, I want you to lie. It, it was an absolute awful, well, it, it was a really bad watch. Um, Lincoln went awful as well, but we didn't create anything. It's all side to side again, a bit like the first half against Sheffield Wednesday last week. Um, I'd, yeah, it wasn't good to watch. Um, not a, it was a really bad game, and that's not just Paul, that's Lincoln as well. They tried to waste time at the end, um, playing for free kicks. Um, going down injured all the time. Going down injured all the time, so they clearly wanted to draw the game. Um, how many shots in goal do we have? Two, possibly. I think um, we had a few. I mean, I think uh, the game changes if, Har if Hackett, Hackett, for, Hackett. I think if Hackett uses his head in the first half and finishes that chance off, the game's done. Yeah, I thought 1 -0. He, he had a really bad game. Um, but he missed that golden chance yeah, just before yeah. half time, and after that. Yeah, it's, there, there, was, there wasn't a lot of chance in the game. A um, couple of good runs, a couple of good players, but nothing. Yes, we didn't get too beat, special. so that's probably a positive. Still unbeaten to start the season. Yeah, two But I'd say we're two. four points off but the pace already, so we need to, we need to win at Cheltenham. There's got to be some massive improvements. We've got Owen at Cheltenham. Yeah, I think yeah. if we get Owen Dale in and Morel comes back from injury, I think we'll be all right. Because I mean, that's what we've missed. Maybe we missed someone on the right flank who can play on the right flank and we missed someone who maybe, can create from midfield. Yeah, maybe it's Dale maybe, and Morel will do that. Maybe it's the tactics, I don't know, but clearly, no, mate, clear, clearly on paper, our players should be beating Lincoln. And we didn't turn up today and we didn't play well enough. So. We weren't good enough, no. But didn't deserve the three points in my opinion, but we move on to, to, on to Cardiff first, then Cheltenham. Yeah. Need to win at Cheltenham. Cardiff's just going to be a good day out. Don't really matter what the result is, we're yeah. going to enjoy it. Massive improvement needed. And finally, up the Blues. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It does mean a lot. Play out Pompey.